What is up, budget and family and friends? My name is Sharia, and this is the Sharia Mag channel where I am documenting our six figure debt free journey as an entrepreneurial licensed clinical social worker with my own virtual private practice, along with my husband, who is a welder. We started our journey in October of 2023 three with $305,884 worth of debt and we are on a journey to eliminate all of that debt which is inclusive of credit card debt, car loan debt, a HELOC, student loan debt and our primary mortgage and the goal is to be out of that debt by December 31st 2026 to begin to build wealth so that we can be work optional by the age of 50. <clears throat> I am tracking, documenting and tracking and sharing my journey with you guys here in the form of monthly budgets, weekly budgets, debt updates, transfer Tuesdays, net worth updates. And because I am an entrepreneur, I do also share the income that I was able to earn in my business at the end of every month. If that sounds like something you are interested in following, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you know anyone else who could be informed and inspired by following my journey, please be sure to share my channel with them as well. We are well into June and it is my income report for the month of May. I do apologize for how late it is getting out. I was sick the second week in June and then I also had to move my daughter to New York the second week in June for a paid internship. And so I am trying to get back on track. But without any further delay, we will get right into the income I was able to earn in my private practice for the month of May. Oh, on the screen here, you see that this is my, um, my profit and loss statement. I do do my bookkeeping within QuickBooks until I can afford to hire a bookkeeper. And actually, when I hire another LCSW, I will outsource my bookkeeping. I will no longer be responsible for managing the money because I want to make sure that an expert is handling that. So we start off, this is for the month of May, starting May the 1st to May the 31st. I did have two days off for the month of May, maybe three days. I think I took a day on a random, I took a random Friday to get some paperwork done and then I took the last Friday right before Memorial Day. So I did have a four day weekend. So the income that I was able to earn in my private practice was $10,302.27. Now this is inclusive of my consulting income. My consulting income is a flat $3,500. And then so minus that the remaining is money that I earned as an LCSW in my private practice, whether that is me contracting for other practices like Sonderman or Headway or clients who come directly to me through an insurance and, and is reimbursed by either cash or insurance. So that income was $10,302.27. We go down to the expenses of running my own virtual private practice, starting off with contracted labor. I did hire a virtual assistant for the month of May because I had quite a few things going on. I was I was um, asked to speak at on a as a panelist at uh, mental health because May was Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, I had several speaking engagements lined up for Mental Health Awareness Month where I was either a a guest speaker or panelist and then I also did some vendor I was a vendor at um, some mental health and wellness fairs for the month of May and to help me coordinate all of those services and get my marketing packages and stuff out while I could continue to see uh, clients in my private practice I did hire a contractor that individual actually was my mother and if I have some pictures of some of the Um, so I did pay her $500 for her assistance for the month of May, although she said that she would have done it for free, and I do believe her. Um, health insurance, I do have to carry my own health insurance, but it is a business deduction, and so I do have Blue Cross and Blue Shield medical insurance and Delta dental insurance, um, as well as Met Blue Cross and Blue Shield 
uh, vision insurance and that is for me and my daughter only because I only carry her on my taxes and that does cost me $215.01 per month. Some additional charges, I am charged $9 for the transactions that come into my account. Um, it's uh, so much of a fee every so many transactions. And then I had $1,158.75 in memberships and or subscriptions. This membership most likely is my mastermind membership. Um, I have shared several times before that I am always looking to grow and invest back in my business so that at the time that I turn 50, I am more of a CFO in my business and there are people working under me to make me money while I kind of relax. Um, so those, ex those expenses total $1,167.75. I had $100.32 in meals, and these were probably meals with my employees or meetings that I had, networking, collaborating, and what have you. $253.58 in software and applications. Now, I do personally pay for Simple Practice, which is the EHR that I have in my private practice. Um, I believe that that is $119. We can click on this and see what these charges are inclusive of. So you'll see that I have my fax, which is $12, and that is a HIPAA compliant virtual fax. I have G Suite for my private practice, and that is $12. And then the Google phone is an additional $12. Sim I pay for it into it because I do pay for the payroll component, and that is $118. And then simple practice is $99, and that does total $253.58. Then we go down to payroll and ex or payroll expenses. So I do pay myself as an employee of my business. And so the taxes that my business pays on me was $1,333.18. And I pay myself a salary of $66,300, which computes to $6,375 per month. I do pay myself weekly if you follow my weekly and monthly budgets you know that I do pay myself weekly and the gross amount I believe is $1,125 and then the net amount ends up being $936.67. Part of the motivation behind getting out of debt and decreasing my expenses is so that I can hire and I can put those LCSWAs on a salary and to put them on a salary and get them going I would have to reduce my income. So that is one of the things that I am working on. Um, so the total payroll expenses cost $7,708.18. I bought $5.33 in office supplies. And I wonder what this is because I feel like it keeps showing up. Let's see what this was. Oh, ink. I do pay monthly for ink. For I do have that HP ink subscription so that I never run out of ink. And then I spent $96.06 in office supplies and materials. And that totaled $101.39. Then I do cover the internet and TV services. I don't have TV services, but internet services since I do run my business out of my home. And then the cell phone and VPN services for when I am working remotely. It is $291.19 and that brings my full expenses to $418.18. That brought my total expenses to $10,464.41, which left me with a net operating income of a negative $162.14. Now, trying to find ways to decrease my expenses. First of all, you guys know that I am looking for a full-time job. And with that full-time job, I hope to have health insurance benefits to cover me and my entire family. So the health insurance will, come, will stop coming out of my business income at that point. The mastermind is due to end in September. And when that does end, that will decrease those expenses as well. And then I think that's about it as far as really reducing. I'm not at a point now where I can reduce my salary, but I would ideally like to take it back down to 65000 once I get out of the car debt and then gradually decreasing it. Um, I would be fine bringing home $2,500 a month 
um, once my uh, expenses have decreased. So temporarily until I can get some LCSWAs or an LCSWA up and running so that I could fully focus on cultivating that person in that position so that and then you know I would just rinse and repeat and just keep building a group practice and I'm on I don't know if I want to do it in all four states that I'm licensed in or if I want to do something like headway does which is hire people from all from all the states to offer uh, services in that state. But that is something that I am considering but I just need to get some of these expenses these debts down first before I can start to focus on that just for my own sanity. So that is it for the income that I was able to earn in my business for the month of May. I do share these income reports at the end of every month. I go over the full expenses on my YouTube page, but on my business TikTok page, I do just share the income that I was able to earn and I do more of a business breakdown. So the reason I don't share those as shorts on my YouTube channel is because I can never get them under 90 seconds. So if you're interested in more of that aspect of it, then be sure to follow me over on my TikTok business page. If you're interested in more short form content about my debt free journey, be sure to follow me on my Sharia Mac in debt TikTok page. I'm not as um, active on Instagram. I'm more of an of an observer in on Instagram, but I am active on TikTok. It just seems to be easier for me. So that is it. If you have any helpful advice or any suggestions about my business budget, please be sure to let me know if you have any questions about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, or how I'm doing it. As far as my business is concerned, please list that down below. And if you know anyone who's on a similar journey and you think that they would benefit from watching specifically these income reports or they're interested in social work or going into private practice, please make sure to share this so they can have a realistic um, expectation of being in private practice and running your own virtual private practice or in-person private practice and, and send them to my uh, Sharia Mac social work page, which goes all into social work, salary transparency within the social work career and private practice and salary transparency within private practice. So I thank you so very much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.